I uh, came to Leeds in uh, 64. I came to study textile, uh, textiles and um, textile management actually. I came from what was then Rhodesia, which now is Zimbabwe. Uh, and my father always was a great believer in an English education. And uh, I spent my time in Devonshire Hall, which still exists. And uh, I have very fond memories of uh, Leeds. I arrived in Leeds in 1963. Uh, I went to study Russian with French. Um, I actually went there on the clearinghouse system, so I didn't really know quite what to expect. What I found was an incredibly well-organized, very good um, Russian department. It, it was actually a wonderful department, very caring, um, small, um, but the standard was incredibly high. I think one of the finest memories I have is I'd been in Leeds for about a year and uh, Ian Smith declared UDI and as a result of this the British government immediately put sanctions and froze all Rhodesian funds uh, in the UK. As soon as this happened the warden of Devonshire Hall, Dr Belfield, who I remember with great fondness, came up to me and said, David, I've spoken to the bursa at Leeds University and you shouldn't worry that if you can't pay your funds or can't pay the, uh, your lodging fees at Devonshire Hall, that will be taken care of by the university. In fact, it wasn't necessary, but I've always uh, had the greatest uh, memory of this and fond memories of Leeds University as a result. I had four years in Leeds and uh, at the time it was a a really, really exciting place to be. Both our children studied at Leeds by coincidence. And, and our son-in-law. And our son-in-law also studied at Leeds, as did my sister my, and my brother-in-law. Leeds has given our family a lot, and we feel that we would like to give something back. The Centre of Israel Studies is something that caught our imagination because we felt this was a unique opportunity for students in this country to learn the whole picture of this very complicated uh, Middle East situation and the part that Israel plays in this. And uh, we support it because very often there is a lot of misinformation and we hope that one day by supporting it uh, one of the students from this uh, department could well become an ambassador or a foreign minister or uh, a senior civil servant and uh, perhaps give a, a balanced view on the situation.